So lanterns, they're a versatile way to change up your decor without spending a lot of money from season to season. They can actually go inside and outside, and with just a few swaps, they can give a completely different look and feel. That's right. Designer Karen Massey is here with great ideas on how and where we can use decorative lanterns. I love that you've got three examples for us here to show how easy it is to go from maybe something we'd have right now to something we'd have here later in the holiday season. But let's just start off with the basics. Once you get your lantern, because I think these, we can find these a lot of different places, you right? You can find lanterns anywhere. And I brought you three examples this morning, mm -hmm. but you really could stick with just one lantern and change the decor all the way from now yeah. in the fall all the way through Christmas. So where do you like to display yours at around the house? Oh my gosh. So that's why I love lanterns mm -hmm. because they're so incredibly versatile. So if we had something really tall like this for Halloween, I would probably put it on your front porch. The front porch or something? Yeah, yeah. on your front porch. Okay. Exactly. But this little guy. Oh, I didn't even see the face on the jack-o'-lantern. All I you, saw you was, the, uh, was the ceramic thing that I just saw that had the face on it. Look yeah, at that. Oh, right? So like cool. you just need to stage it up with your little jack-o'-lanterns, put it by your front door, now and I you'll totally be good to go. Now I totally understand why it would be good for Halloween. Now you get it. it. Yeah. Yes, now we get it. <laughs> and this little guy right here would then be um, more appropriate for fall and Thanksgiving yeah. if you wanted to put it on the sideboard in your dining room or on a coffee table in the living room. When you're putting them on tables maybe inside the house, do you want to go for maybe a smaller lantern or do you still think bigger is better or it just depends on your situation? I always like to go big, go big or go home, right? right? But if we're talking about my favorite lantern size, anywhere in that 16 to 18 inches is really okay. idea f ideal, friends, because it'll give you the appropriate space inside to fill it um, with any yeah. sort of decorative elements that are seasonal. And that's really pretty. The picture we have up there is kind of like a centerpiece there. That I love, I just love the black uh, lantern. It just looks so classic, you know, that, that people used to have yes. them on the outside of their doors and it just looks really fancy like that. Yeah, you know? they are a really classic element that is incredibly versatile. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the buffalo check that you've used here? Sure. Because I don't, that, that pops to me every time I see it, whether sure. it's from a picnic table uh, sure. to a, you know, a, going out to have a picnic, you throw it on the ground. I just love the way that it looks. Right, so buffalo check will come really in any colors, but predominantly mm -hmm. we find it in black and white or in red and white. This morning I brought you black and white because I wanted you to see how it could transition really again from Halloween to Thanksgiving and then into yeah. Christmas when we paired it with some pine cones and some birch logs. And it looks great because I think a lot of the times you don't think about black and white being maybe necessarily a fall color, especially right. when, you know, for from Thanksgiving to Christmas where red and greens are really big here, mm -hmm. whereas oranges and browns are mm -hmm. big for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I'm loving black and white for fall this season, particularly when we pair it with some softer muted greens and some white pumpkins it has a really earthy feel. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we do have the candles in here. So do you recommend battery operated candles or do you like going the real thing? I think it depends on where we're putting it. Okay. So if it's a wedding centerpiece, oh, you yeah. cannot beat the glow <laughs> of natural candlelight. Sure. If it's something that's going to be outside or if you're going to have it in your home and it's going to be unattended, then our insurance people are going <laughs> to recommend <laughs> My battery operated. My agent's on the phone right now. That's right. That's right. And uh, really quick, I know you got a bunch of other places we can find some more information about these. Where should we go if this is a, kind of a cool idea we want to go after? I'm actually holding a lantern, a live lantern decorating workshop in oh, October. Cool. So if you're interested in learning how and uh, designing with me in a little make and take class, I'll be holding that in October. And you can find that on Facebook at the Kara Massey Design Beautiful. Facebook and page. I know you are also doing a kitchen redesign. And you and I, just not to spoil anything, we're going to go out and have some fun yeah. uh, talking about kitchen redesign coming up here in the next few months. And we're going to have that to show you here coming up just yeah. a little bit later. So I'm very excited about that. Stay tuned for that. I'm That's excited right. as well. It's a deep tease right there, folks. All right. Well, thank <laughs> Thank you for all the lanterns. This Thank is you great. for having me. Belinda, over to you.